everyone, welcome back to the workshop. And today I want to talk a little bit about using Lightburn to make sequential numberings. And in this case, we're gonna be serializing some business cards, um, adding a just a little bit of a number down in the bottom corner there that is going to be sequential every time we run the project. So this would be great if you're trying to make placards for machines and adding a serial number to them. Uh, and uh, you know, this could be done on a variety of metals with the comm marker, but now, I have a purpose where <laughs> I'm going to be using a bunch of business cards and thought, why not put a serial number on them so I know how many I've handed out. So I'm going to walk through the process in Lightburn of setting it up both for this laser specifically, but also how you might do it in a gantry style laser. Uh, and then we'll come back out here and uh, we'll actually run the job, see how it looks. So if this is something you're interested in, want to find out more, stay tuned. I'm going to jump right into it. All right, in the office, I'm going to show you how we kind of set up the file before we run back out to the shop. Now, I'm going to be running this test on the COM marker B6 and using the foot pedal to advance it. So we're going to be burning one item at a time. But you can also set this up on a gantry style laser uh, and do multiples. And then we want it to auto advance through those. So I'm going to kind of show you the setup because it just does work on multiple lasers. Uh, and then uh, you'll be able to work with this hopefully with that which whatever kind of laser you have so let's jump into light burn and start playing around so we are going to be starting with the text uh option so we're just going to come up here and add some basic text in i'm going to call this serial number uh, and uh, i'm going to go ahead and change this into a filled font so it's easier to see and um, now this would just be basic text. We could burn that and we could manually type in our numbers each time. So 001 and then come back and edit them. But we can use Lightburn to make this automated. What we need to do first is come up here to our font bar up here. And over on the side, we have normal text. Well, we wanna change this to serial number. So we're gonna change that setting. And then we wanna play around with the variable text, which should appear over here under your tabs in your window should have a variable text. If you don't see that, come up to your window menu and make sure that variable text is checked. Once you have that in place, what we can do is come back over here and add some modifiers. Now the basic modifier would be, if you hit a lowercase d, that is gonna tell it you want a, a number, a decimal point number. And if we come over to our variable text, you see we're set on current and start of zero, it's gonna change that d to a zero. Now if we move it to the next job, it would show one. Well, that's great. You could start adding your serial numbers sequentially. But if you're going to be doing a broader uh, range of numbers, there is some formatting you want to maybe take take uh, and change it to. Uh, so what we want to do is if we're going to do, say in this case, we have start of one or start of zero all the way up to 999. Uh, really with serial numbers, you probably want to start at one and then go up to 999. Um, we're going to want three digits. So we're going to go DDD. Now you see if we test this, it still only says one. If you want it to display all the zeros before those digits, you want to put in a zero. Now when we hit test, it's going to go 001 to show all of the digits. So if you needed to have a, an additional number, you can just add another, click in here, add another D, and now you're going to see there's four digits. But we're going to take that out, and we're just going to stick with the three. And uh, so you see there's 001, and then if I hit next, the next job's going to go 002, hit next, 003, on and on and on. So that's an easy way to do them single at a time, and that's how we're gonna be doing it on the Galvo laser. But if you're doing it on a gantry style laser, you're probably gonna be setting up a, a, an array of these. So we're gonna come down here, and put this up. Oh, I want it to cut it off where you can't see it. We're gonna put that there. We're gonna to come to our array tool, and now we can start adding our columns. So it looks like we can fit two of them the way this font is, and so many rows. All right, so now we've copied that text, we've created our array, we're starting at one, ending at 999. The first time we run this, you see it's gonna put one, two, three, four on up uh, to 22. And then if we reran the job, it should then, uh, we would wanna hit auto advance, we rerun the job, uh, then the next time it runs, it should start at 23 and uh, go on from there. So uh, you can definitely set this up in an array, um, and then use your array tool to, to copy that text and uh, you can see how you can do that. But, so how I'm gonna demonstrate this is I am gonna be going to a conference here shortly and I'm going to be probably handing out a few business cards. So I thought why not serialize them to show, you know, 
doing the same placard kind of style, but then adding that serial number on there. Uh, just kind of a fun little thing. Plus, then I keep track of how many business cards I handed out. So. All right, so I'm here in the basement workshop because it is really cold out here. Uh, it's January, it's cold in Minnesota, so I'm gonna try to do this in here. So I've got the Com Marker V6 set up, ready to go. Uh, we're just gonna be using a uh, dust filter here, which pretty well on these machines, so I don't have to dust uh, dump warm air outside. And we're gonna be using some cards. I picked these up off Amazon. They're kind of a flat black aluminum card, and when you engrave them, uh, you can get a nice white contrast, and so that works very well for these uh, business card type things. Um, these are kind of the thinner variety. I'll link down below if you want to try them out. Um, but I've found uh, to get the best quality and detail on these is I actually make two passes. So um, I believe I have my settings at uh, uh, 4,000 uh, millimeters a second, 90% uh, power, 30 frequency, and then two passes. I start at a 45 and then rotate that 90 degrees. So kind of goes one way or another, and that gives you the best detail, kind of the overall speed. Generally, these business cards take about 40 seconds to run at that. So I'm gonna get the file set up in Lightburn. We'll add that serial number down to the lower corner. Uh, and then, of course, I did hook up the foot pedal to this so that we can just swap card out, hit that pedal, and it should advance the job. And uh, we'll run a number of these and uh, check in when we've got them done. So I'm opening up the file that I've made and burned many of these business cards before, but we're gonna go ahead and add that text. So we're gonna jump into our text tool, drop this down here, and as you see up above, this is only gonna be uh, 1.5 millimeters in height. So we're gonna go ahead and add that zero DDD, switch that over to his serial number, and then check our settings to make sure their starting count's good. Turn on auto, advance, do a test, looks good. We're just gonna move the position just a little bit. And uh, now we can go ahead and uh, get this framed up on the laser, check and drop a card in place, just double check that it's looking good. And when we're happy, we're gonna hit that uh, pedal to start the first job. So I'm running this first card in real time so you can kind of get an idea of uh, how long it takes. Again, I am running at 4,000 millimeters a second, 90% power, 30 kilohertz, and I'm doing that in two passes, uh, starting at 45, rotating 90 degrees. I find that gives me the best combination of detail as well as contrast and a clean engraving. Your settings may vary based on the cards you're using, your machine, temperatures, things like that. So you always want to run those material tests to really dial it in for your specific application and uh, material. But this will hopefully give you a ballpark idea of uh, where to get started on your cards yourself. So that one's done. You just kind of wipe off the dust a little bit and you can see we've got a card with a serial number in the lower right corner. So ready to jump to the next one. We drop a new card in, make sure it's in that corner and then go ahead and hit that button and it's off to the races. So I ran through about 30 of these, didn't take too long. I just did some emails and checking on some other things while swapping out the cards and they all came out very well. I only had a couple of them where I wasn't as careful laying them down into this corner jig. It was black cards on black paint, it was hard to see. They were slightly off, so I just went back and reran those numbers. Um, so probably in the future, I'm gonna make like a 3D printed jig. Uh, I could possibly do two at a time on here with this working area. Uh, and then also it'll be a different color so it's easier not to have those mistakes. It'll just drop into a frame that just fits these cards. So look for that in a future video. But um, obviously serializing your business cards is not necessarily a, a real needed thing. Um, but this would be great if you are working on like a series of items that you're going to create and you wanted to make some little placards like this for it. Um, if you're in a you know small business and you are actually producing machines, you know these can work with a variety of metals and you could add those serial numbers on there as well. Um, but again, if you have a regular gantry style machine, this same process will work for you uh, just in how you lay out those items in there. Uh, but these fiber lasers do make quick work out of these. Like I said, each one of these was only about 40 seconds. So uh, like I said, this uh, over uh, doing 30 of them, about half an hour and I'm good to go. And uh, I know I could probably tweak it from there. Um, again, run those material tests, 
uh, dial in your settings for doing batch jobs like that. Even 10 seconds on a job over 30, it's gonna save you some time. So hope that this was useful to you. Hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below or tell me what you think you would do with this uh, feature. Maybe some ideas that'll spark other people's interest as well. Um, and uh, if you found this interesting, hit that like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I do a lot of project videos like this, instructional videos, um, product reviews. We actually reviewed this laser. So if you'd like to see more about it and what it can do, uh, I'll have a link down to that. Uh, at the end of this video as well as down below. And if you're interested in buying one, I do have uh, an affiliate link that uh, will uh, allow you to purchase it and tells Commarker they appreciated my content. And um, if there is a discount code, I'll have that listed as well. Sometimes those come and go, but I uh, always appreciate the support. And as always, no pressure, just happy to help you out in figuring out how best to use your equipment or maybe what equipment to buy. Gonna wrap this up here. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it as always, and hope to see you in a future video. But uh, in the meantime, I hope you can get out into your workshop and make something too. We'll catch you next time.